At the Food Standards Agency, it's our job to use our expertise and influence so that people can trust that the food they buy and eat is safe and honest. Since 2010, we've spoken to thousands of adults about what they think and do in relationship with food. Results from the survey are really important as they allow us to track changes to consumers' food behaviour and attitudes and help monitor the impact of the Food Hygiene Rating Scheme, informing the development of policy. It also enables us to tailor food safety messages for the general population and groups who are particularly at risk and explore public engagement with food safety. You can use the survey to understand consumer behaviour and choices. For example, in the last month, around 7 in 10 people ate in a restaurant. Just over 5 in 10 ate takeaway food from a restaurant or a takeaway. And around 4 in 10 ate in a cafe or coffee shop. When we asked people to pick from a list of options of what might influence their decision on where they were going to eat, 72% told us hygiene and cleanliness, and 62% said the service. We also ask people about their day-to-day -day experiences of food and how they prepare and handle food. Since 2012, the number of people following the Food Standard Agency's recommendation that the use-by date is the best indicator of whether food is safe to eat has increased from 65% to 70%. In Northern Ireland, we also ask people about their knowledge of healthy eating recommendations and attitudes towards healthy eating. And we ask people about wider food issues, such as how confident they are that something is what it says it is. We're proud that the data collected by the Food and You survey is really high quality. Every two years, we ask people to take part in the survey on the basis of random probability sampling, so you can trust that the results really are representative of the population. Since 2010, we've repeated many of the same questions so that we're able to show if things are changing over time. But we also ask specific questions each year to reflect changing priorities. Thank you for watching this whistle-stop tour of the Food and You survey. To find out more about the survey or how you can access the data, please visit food.gov.uk. Email foodandyou at foodstandards.gsi.gov.uk or get in touch with the FSA's social science team.